Hi everyone, welcome to Enjoy English School. I'm Stephen. Hello, I'm Bernice. And today's date is January second. We'll be covering pages ten to thirteen. And today's topic is the Korean wave. 好，我们今天要讲的是韩流来袭喽。The rise of K-pop. From the Kim sisters to BTS, this is the story of how K-pop took over the world. 嗯哼，我们接下来看一下韩国的流行音乐呢是怎么样征服全球的。首先，我们先看一下金氏姐妹花，一直到防弹少年团。这个呢，他们两个是韩国流行乐呢如何攻占全球的一个故事哦。And when we say take over the world, we mean conquer. C O N Q U E R, conquer. 嗯 ，conquer 的意思就是征服了、战胜了全世界的意思。Let's get started. 我们来开始喽。K-pop is a worldwide sensation. 韩国的流行乐呢是在全球啊为之轰动的。So here we see the word worldwide. You could also use the word global. So K-pop is a global sensation. 嗯哼 ，worldwide 呢，在这边是当形容词用，同学也可以用 global 表示全世界、全球的。那么 sensation 呢，是一个名词，就是表示很轰动的事件。Mm -hmm. Global is spelled G L O B A L, and as Bernice also said, sensation is when there's a widespread reaction of excitement.、Mm -hmm. Everyone likes it. Everyone's excited about it.、Mm -hmm. And K-pop it stands for Korean popular music. Korean pop. 好，这个 K-pop 呢，就是 Korean pop music， 它的一个缩写。那么刚才老师说的 sensation 呢，就是很轰动，让你觉得哇，很刺激，很兴奋的事情。Mm -hmm. From LA to Taipei to Europe to Australia and beyond, Korean pop music is on the radio and taking over streaming services. 嗯，这个句子非常的长。他说呢，从洛杉矶 LA 一直到台北啦。欧洲啦，澳洲啦，还有更多更多的这些国家呢，我们都可以知道韩国的流行乐在这些电台放送，并且攻陷了音乐串流服务。So when we're showing a range of different things, we'll use from A to B. Okay, and here you see from A to B to B to B to B, right?、Mm -hmm. So from L A to Taipei to Europe to Australia, make sure you separate all of those、uh, different items with a two in between. Okay,、mm -hmm. and then when we say and beyond, that's just another way to say and more. 好，这边我们可以看到 from to 就是从 A 到 B。那如果你后面的那个点有很多很多个，那这时候你就会 from A， 然后一直到 to 什么地方 ，to 什么地方，后面就是放各式各样不同的地点。那么这边的 and beyond 呢，就是 and more， 表示还有更多更多的意思。Like we said in the introduction, taking over is the same as saying conquering, right? So it's taking over the radio and taking over streaming services. And what are streaming services? They are websites、uh, that can where you can click a link and you can watch the video immediately, like YouTube or Facebook or Netflix. Mm-hmm. 这边的 streaming services 就是我们讲的所谓的音乐的这个串流服务呢，它主要呢就是讲一些线上面的一些娱乐的服务。所以同学。你点下去之后，你就可以看一些，比如说电影啦，或者是听一些音乐。But if you think K-pop is a recent development, think again. 好，如果呢，你觉得呢，这个所谓的韩国流行音乐是最近才开始做的发展，那你就再想一遍哦。嗯哼 ，So think again is something we say in English sometimes when we're trying to、uh, emphasize that this thing is might not be what you think. So we'll be like think again. 嗯哼，我们用到这个 think again 的时候呢，就表示哎，如果这件事情呢，可能一开始并不是你所认为的那个样子，哎，那你就再想一次好了。This is a trend that's been building for decades. 这呢，也是一个已经酝酿了好几十年的一个潮流了。
So a decade is 10 years. So decades is like 10 or 20 or 30 years. Mm-hmm. 每一个 decade 就是一个十年，所以这边的 decade 加了 s 就表示十年、二十年、三十年这样子。Mm-hmm. And when something is trending, which is something we see a lot on social media nowadays,、mm-hmm. that means it's something that everyone's doing or is something that's very popular to do. That、mm-hmm. is what a trend is. 好，我们讲到这个 trend 当名词呢，它有潮流、时尚的。意思，所以当这个字出现的时候，表示这个动作呢已经发生了很长的一段时间，而且一直以来都非常的受欢迎。这时候我们就用到 trend 这个字。Let's take a short break. Our story begins with the Kim sisters, the first South Korean group to make it big. Overseas. 好，我们今天要讲的故事呢，就是从这个金氏姐妹花来开始说了。他们是谁呢？他们是第一个在这个海外呢大放异彩的一个南韩的团体。So the first thing I want to say is when you see O U R, a lot of times people are confused how to pronounce that. It's pronounced exactly like A R E R. Okay, so our story begins with the Kim sisters. But you might ask, when do I know if it's R A R E or when is it O U R? The usage is completely different. R is the plural form of the B verb. Okay,、mm-hmm. and this R O U R is woman the. R. Okay, so when you use it in a sentence, I'm not going to say A R E story, R、mm-hmm. story. I'm going to say R woman. The 故事 R story begins with the Kim sisters, and the Kim sisters here because it's a name of a group. All the words are capitalized. 嗯、mm-hmm. 哼，好，首先呢，这个第一个是发音的部分。那同学，你可以知道 R 这个字跟 R 这个字不会混在一起，所以呢，一个是 be 动词，一个是所有格，所以呢，基本上它的使用上面不会产生这个误解。再来呢，这边为什么 the Kim sisters 它都是大写呢？因为我们要讲到特别讲到一个南韩的一个团体，所以呢，我们都把它的那个字母给大写了。Here you see a comma after the Kim sisters because what comes after that is describing the Kim sisters. So we use a comma in writing to let you know that we're going to describe the the Kim sisters. And also here, when we see make it big, that、mm-hmm. means that they're becoming famous or they get a lot of popularity and success. That is what make it big means. 好，我们这边看到这个逗点呢，如果在文法上面来说，它就是一个同位语的用法，也就是前面的这个 the Kim sisters。跟后面 the first South Korean group， 它是讲同一个东西，所以这时候用了一个逗点把它给隔开来，让这个读者可以很清楚的看到。接下来这个片语呢 ，make it big 的意思就是让你觉得哇，功成名就、大放异彩的意思。Mm. And here you see the word overseas to emphasize that they're getting famous in another country. They have to go across the ocean because they're going to be famous in the U.S. instead of South Korea. 嗯哼 ，overseas 当副词呢，就是到国外的意思。也就是说呢，这个团体呢，他们不是只有在南韩本身这个很有名，他们是过到别的国家去也是非常的有名。The sisters were Sue, Aja, and Mia. 嗯，接下来就是这三个女生的这个介绍了，这三个就是他们的名字了。所以以下呢，就是他们三个人叫金鼠子、金爱子以及金明子。So in English, when you have three different things, three different items, and they're、uh, A, B, and C, we use a comma. Right after A, after B, and then、uh, you, you put the comma before and. Okay, so A, comma B, comma and C. 嗯哼，一样在写作的时候，同学要注意，当你调列出三样东西的时候，我们会先写一个 A， 再来逗点 B， 逗点，然后 and C。Mm-hmm. In the 1950s, as a way to support their family. The girls sang American songs in Seoul nightclubs to American soldiers. 嗯，他说在一九五零年代的时候呢，这些女孩子呢，她们呐、啊、是为了要怎么样呢？养家活口 ，support 就是要养他们的家。所以这时候呢，这群女孩子呢，她们就开始到这个所谓的美国的一些呃夜店里面，好，这个首尔的夜店里面去唱歌。但他们唱的是什么歌呢？唱的是美国的一些歌曲，给谁听呢？给当时的一些美国的大兵来听。Okay, so here we see the preposition in. 
in the 1950s. That's because that's a whole decade. Like we learned that word earlier, though. That's that 10 year gap, right? From 1950 to 1960. So because it's a span of time, it's in the 1950s, okay? So it's not on the 1950s, it's mm -hmm. in the 1950s. And you pronounce that 1950s, okay? Not 1915s. 1950s. You can also say in the 50s. We can take out the 19 if you want. Mm-hmm,这边是这个念法,这个西元的念法,还有就是那个十五跟五十的念法。那么这个介系词in的意思呢,是因为它是从一九五零年横跨到一九六零年,它中间有一个时段,所以这时候我们是在这个时段之内,
So here we see they found success. That might seem a little bit strange. Mm -hmm. How can you find success? Yeah. That's just another way to say they achieved success. Achieve is to get success. Achieve is A-C-H-I-E-V-E. -E. Past tense, just add a D. So in this sentence, I could say they achieved success in nightclubs and even saying on national television. And here we see even. We add that word because we're trying to emphasize that they even got to do this. It's like something that was unexpected, but it's cool. They got to sing on national television. So national is a word to say all over the country. Mm-hmm. All right. In 1962, they covered a song by the Coasters called Charlie Brown. 嗯，接下来到了一九六二年呢，这个金氏姐妹花呢，他们去这个做了一个叫做翻唱，cover，这边当翻唱的意思。翻唱的这首歌呢，是当初的那个贸易船组合，他们的这一首歌呢，叫做
Let's go into the review. Mm-hmm. All right, Bernice Lawson. If I say I want、mm. to take over the world, what does that mean? Wow, this is a very big ambition. Ambition, you know, ha, is you want to conquer the world, conquer the world. Yes. Another word for that, don't forget, is conquer. C O N Q U E R.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So what is worldwide? Ha, worldwide. As a synonym, is the world. Okay, so what is a worldwide sensation? Wow, caused a sensation. For example, like Bernice 老师可能出去走一走的时候，就会造成这样的 worldwide sensation.、Mm-hmm, that's true. <laughs> okay, so what is a streaming service? 好，这是一个串流的服务。Okay, like YouTube and Netflix.、Mm-hmm. So, how many years is a decade? How decade 呢是名词，表示十年。So if we add an S to that, that means it's like twenty or thirty or forty years.、Mm-hmm. Okay. How? What does it mean when I make it big? Wow, 你飞黄腾达，功成名就啦。I'm、super famous now, overseas. 好，就是到海外。And what if I say as a way to support their family? Hmm, 就是当做是一个什么样的方式，养家活口的方式。All right. So who are soldiers? Soldiers 就是一些兵人，呃，不，军人。什么叫兵人<笑><笑> ？And if I cover a song, does that mean it's an original song, or does it mean it's someone else's song?、Mm, cover the song 就是表示呢，你是翻唱别人原唱的这个歌曲。All right. And it can be a noun or a verb. Hmm. All right. That's all for today. Join us for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Episode Han Liu Lai Xi, Korean Pop Culture How to Conquer the World. The Rise of K-Pop. K-Pop is a worldwide sensation, from LA to Taipei to Europe to Australia and beyond. Korean pop music is on the radio and taking over streaming services. But if you think K-pop is a recent development, think again. This is a trend that's been building for decades. Our story begins with the Kim Sisters, the first South Korean group to make it big overseas. The sisters were Sue, Ija, and Mia. In the 1950s, as a way to support their family, the girls sang American songs in Seoul nightclubs to American soldiers. American producer Tom Ball saw them in 1958 and knew he had to bring them to the U.S. In 1959, the sisters arrived in the U.S. and started performing in Las Vegas. They found success in nightclubs and even sang on national television. In 1962, they covered a song by the Coasters called "Charlie Brown." It reached number seven on the Billboard Singles Chart. With that, the Kim sisters were the first huge Asian singing success in the U.S. Little did the ladies know they had started what would become a huge trend.